don't worry, we will. Uh, still to come, how to make elegant appetizers that don't take all day to create. You might want to even serve them at your next shower. In a moment, we'll have some real simple ideas for throwing a party she'll never forget. That's right, strip a No, only kidding. Uh, that's right after this. Well, this morning on today's kitchen, orders for the perfect party. Everybody likes a good cocktail badge as well as a good cocktail, but hosting that party can be a little bit of a challenge. Award-winning chef Mr. Francois Payard is here to help with his new book, Bite Size, which shows you how to prepare elegant yet luscious appetizers without a lot of fuss. Francois, good to see you, sir. Right. Nice to see you, man. All righty. So, now, appetizers. A lot of people are, are kind of intimidated by them, but you said they're, they're not that difficult. They, they have a few steps, you know. A few steps. The idea is uh, to choose the one you can be able to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, making little canapes is trying to make little appetizer, you know. It takes a little time. Okay. But you know the one I choose today? Pretty simple. And you're going to start off, we save us a little time by getting some pastry dough. Yeah, you just can buy puff pastry. Uh, I roll out the puff pastry like a quarter of inch thick. Nice little puff pastry. Exactly. You can buy the puff pastry. Over here we cut the puff pastry. Mm -hmm. We place on the sheet tray. Right. After that you can uh, place a parchment paper and you place another tray over and we may bake them. Oh. For 380 degrees for like 15 minutes. And then they come up like this? And what you want by having another tray on the top, they bake very nicely and evenly together. Ah, okay. Over here, you know, you can move to the Japanese eggplant. Uh -huh. Now, why Japanese? Because it's little? It's little and a little bit less meaty than the big eggplant. Mm -hmm. And on top of it, we are making a bite size. Don't forget, it's pretty small. Because it's small. Exactly. Right. Over here, you see you have the eggplant. I already so how did you, just a little olive oil? A little bit of olive oil. You cook them a little bit. Mm -hmm. I already sauteed them before. Right. And over here, I may deglaze them with a little bit of sherry vinegar. A little sherry vinegar deglaze. And a little bit of honey lavender. Ooh. Why? 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 to bring a little bit of sweetness, sweetness and a little sour to it. Mm. And you see? Sweet voilà. and sour. We cook them a little bit. Right. And this when they cook over here. They end up like that. They and you say the secret to great pastries is a pastry bag. And a lot of people think, oh, that's really fancy. But you say, you know, you can do it out of a, out of a, like a Ziploc bag. Exactly. Or you use a pastry bag like we use, or you can use a Ziploc and you cut the bottom of it. Okay. Over here, I just mix a little bit of the goat cheese for mm -hmm. the top. It's goat cheese and herb. And it just mix to give a beautiful flavor to the goat cheese. Right. Uh, you just have to taste, but normally you don't need seasoning, you know. You just always taste everything you make. You right. Know? Taste as you go. Exactly. Okay. You can taste, you know, it, the goat cheese is perfect. And over here now we're ready to put our tart together. Mm -hmm. It's okay? Yeah, it's fabulous. D tell me if you don't like it's it. It's unbelievable. Uh, okay, <laughs> thank you. Over here I'll use a pastry bag. Mm -hmm. We have the tomato concassé that I cooked before. A tomato what? Tomato concassé. A concassé. Cocasse. Cocasse. Exactly. <laughs> and I put you the help to it. Uh -huh. Don't make fun of my I'm accent. I'm not making fun of your <laughs> accent. <laughs> okay. Let's follow me. Over here, <laughs> little, little bag. Why don't you make your own, okay. too? Okay. Little bag. Little no, bag. No. Over here, little bag. I and can't I'm... see. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my knife. Over here, I have Give a... me my knife. <laughs> He's threatening me. I have a big eggplant. Uh -huh. And it's a little bit too big for the tart. So right. what you do, I make a little triangle to it. Yeah, like then that. you squeeze it together. And then you can Boop. fit to exactly to the size of tart you want. And then a little ping. A little bit of goat cheese on the top, and at this point, make your own, please. <laughs> make your own. <laughs> Just, well, and over here, at this point, what you do for the... <laughs> I gotta go! Yeah, no. tell me I, gotta... I just have to stick them in the <laughs> oven. Stick them in the oven for how long? Few seconds. Few just seconds. To get warm enough. All right, all right. <laughs> this one is cold, you know, it's pretty good. I can't talk now! <laughs> Did your mom tell you you cannot talk to your mouth full? <laughs> Francois Payard, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bite Size is the book. Go to our website at today.msnbc.com. And coming up, John Legend. But first, this is Today on NBC. Okay.